Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a what I've been burning and melting, my weekly wicks and wax video. I have lots of candles. I have lots of wax. I am full on into fall and Halloween mode. A lot of Halloween fragrances. I actually finished three Halloween candles this coming couple weeks. So I was very excited with that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Disclaimer, I am doing laundry and the laundry room is right behind me. So I'm hoping it's not too loud and I should, I will be playing around with the audio to make sure that the background noise is gone. But we're going to dive right into candles that I am finishing and I am pulling the website up so I can read off scent descriptions. This candle is available right now on Kringle for 21 bucks. So that's $10 off. I might place another order. Apple Love. Okay, this came out last fall, and I was like, oh, it smells really good. It's a very unique apple fragrance. When I burned this, and I burned it, there is nothing left. Literally not a stitch. Of, I mean, there's the tiniest bit of wax left at the bottom, but this guy finished and burned as clean as always. This is incredible. So... The notes on this read, there is nothing quite like the sweet smell of mama's fall baking. The combination of apples, elderberries, and sugared fruits will have you feel, will make you feel right at home. So there's sweet apple, elderberries, lemons, sugar cane, tangerine, farm stand blackberries, strawberry, pomegranate, and cherry blossom. So it's truly like a fruit basket, a fruit medley, and then covered in sweet sugar cane. And this just smells like the best apple fruit fragrance. I know everybody's raving about Radiant Apple this year. I have not burned it yet. It is in my stash. But this is so pretty. I was burning this in my bedroom the entire time. And from beginning to end, perfection. You just got this really sugared apple fragrance. Now, Obviously, there's a lot of just fruit notes in here. There's no like pie crust or baking element to the fragrance. But I would say I'm getting mostly apple, elderberry, blackberry, and sugar cane. So it is like this sugary apple berry fragrance. I was really pleasantly surprised with this. I would repurchase this. It's a 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed this the entire time in my bedroom. Next, we're going to do a Kringle and a Bath & Body Works together because I was burning them together. Fresh baked bread. So I have a Kringle Reserve fresh baked bread, and I have two French baguettes from Bath & Body Works. So they're all finished. These were the Bath & Body Works candles. I finished them down to the bottom. I was burning both of these in my dining room at the same time. French baguette is more of the crusty bread, I would say. You get that really rich, decadent, baked um, bread crust. I was going to say pie crust, but it's a bread crust. I love it. It actually came out in 2012. This was last year's Candle Day packaging. And then the fresh baked bread from Kringle, I finished all the way down. And this is more the yeastiness of the bread. I prefer the Kringle version. And French baguette has been a staple for me for many years. But when I smelled this... It's that yeasty bread, but I also get like the butteriness. I do think that the picture should be more of like a loaf of bread than sliced bread that looks like, I don't know, it just looks like a slice of a loaf of bread where this is more of like a baguette scent. It has more of the toasted butter and the rich crusty bread. I can't say which one threw the best because I had them all burning at the same time and it smelled like I was in a bakery baking bread in my house during that time. It was beautiful. Um, Bath and Body Works will continue. I have spiced pumpkin and patchouli. I put this on the candle crock to finish its life because it was not performing well. Rich pumpkin, warm patchouli, and a touch of cinnamon sugar. I actually enjoy this fragrance. This is last year's packaging. They did bring it out this year, and it's nice. It is like a more earthy, rich, deep pumpkin. I will say you do get that hint of um, patchouli at the end, but it's nothing aggressive. It's really pretty. 
And they actually had a hand soap this year. Was it like farm pumpkins and spices or something? It was like in a tan bottle with the cherry almond shortbread and the mahogany apple uh, soap. It was not called this, but it was the same scent. So if you like like an earthy pumpkin, definitely try it out. Obviously, the burn was not great because I put it on a candle crock to finish its life. And it was pretty strong in the candle crock. I finished a single wick of pumpkin pecan waffles. I actually have a wallflower plug in my kitchen plugged in with it. And then I was burning this so I could just enhance the single wick because I only have one. Um... I really like it. Pumpkin pecan waffles is a staple. Maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Yeah, it's really good. I enjoy it. It's a classic. Every year, rich, ooey, gooey pumpkin. Like I said, I was burning this guy, and then I was burning um, or having the wallflower in as well. Next, I finished from 1820 Company. I love their candles. Apple dumpling. I did a haul. Did I do the haul with this? I don't think I did the haul yet. Did I? No, I don't think I did. I have to film that haul video, but this is a great candle. It's like a cinnamon sugar sweet dough pastry fragrance. I love, I love the scents. I love 1820s candles and I love apple dumpling. This is just a rich, sweet apple. It performed great, I think. And I forget who was talking about this, but I think the dye in the candles is seriously what's making it worse is that it's just the burns aren't great on colored candles because it has to filter through the color too. I get great performance on um, white candles without dye. That's just another thought. All right. So as far as Kringle Halloween goes, I finished Black Cat. This was an older, ooh, this was an older one from a couple years ago. It had the gray wax still in it. Cinnamon, clove, cedar, and frankincense. This was strong. This was definitely cedar wood forward with just a little bit of added spices. I did this in my office and it was strong from the moment it started to the moment it finished, but I did really like it. So next I have Day of the Dead, which is, I'm pulling up the notes on this one. I know I, I know I, did that. Let's see. Um, guys, you don't even know how many freaking candles I have from Halloween. Oh, where did the notes go? I know I pulled it up. I have so many. I have so many candles from their Halloween line. I'm just trying to use up. Here we go. Citrus fruit, floral notes, oriental notes, woody notes, and jasmine. I can't find it because it's not available anymore. So it's like on like this UK website. So it's not probably the full scent description. And this was, this was just a woody floral. I wasn't, I mean, I assume jasmine because that's what's listed is what I get from it. I was actually burning this in my bathroom for the most part because it was like a bright white floral. Not my favorite scent. I just don't really care for those like white florals, but I did finish it up, which made me happy. And this was another older one with the gray wax. And then the last Kringle Halloween I finished, I was really surprised about. And that was Blood Moon. Now this is still available on the website. It is also on sale. It's $22.05. It's 30% off. A combination of super fruits within a shadow of earthy notes, our Blood Moon fragrance is total lunar magic. Vibrant cassis, tamarind pulp, Cedar, bergamot extract, pomegranate seed, blood orange, cassie clove, incense, acai berry, orange blossom, and wild ivy. And this was, this was a very citrus fruity fragrance, but with the cedar and the clove and the incense made it Halloween and made it spooky. This was like a very warm, comforting citrus. Not like a pomander though, with the orange and the clove. Definitely not like an orange pomander, but... It does have that like warm citrus fruit that really came out. It's beautiful. I was very, very in love with this fragrance. So really enjoyed that. And then last but not least, um, I will read, this is Salted Butterscotch. Uh, it does have a fun little quote on the front. It says, F around and find out. This is from Matt Matthews. If you don't know who Matt Matthews is, he is a comedian. I found him on TikTok. 
He does like these farm chores videos. He is so funny. I will link his link down below. But he has a boutique and he sells candles and apparel and um, skincare. He is such a great human being. And he made this really cool video about why he started a candle line. So I wanted to check them out. You guys, really impressed. I wanted to burn an entire candle before I sat down and made a whole video, but that is scheduled this week. I am going to film it because I am so impressed with the burn on this. 100% soy, again, no color added to it, and it performed really well. The sludge on the sides is just a natural soy, and this salted butterscotch was strong. Like, I was burning this just in my living room, and it filled up this whole surrounding space, which not a lot of candles can do that, especially a three wick, which is pretty much a little bigger, not by much, than a Bath & Body Works. I think these are 17 ounces and Bath & Body Works are 14.5. Soy just holds a little bit more weight and it's a slightly taller and wider jar, but really great. Now these candles sell out super fast. He does a fall drop, a winter drop, a spring and summer. So he has been restocking every other week a very small drop and they do sell out. So I will leave the link down below. Definitely check out the candles. I did order the whole entire fall line as well as the Halloween special candle. It's called Boo B and it's a uh, pumpkin souffle. It's great. He's coming out with a Thanksgiving candle called Ultimate Pumpkin Pie and the little quotes like Grateful AF. So super cute. I am going to pick it up, but I know I'll be on the website right when it launches because they sell out pretty quick. Definitely a fun little gift to try for, to give to someone, but they actually perform really well too. So I really recommend them. Definitely a new, I don't even want to call them a candle company because they sell so many more than just candles, but definitely recommend the Matt Matthews line. All right, I'm going to clear the space and then dive into the wax. There's not a ton. I'll be right back. All right, diving into the Scentsy, the first thing that I did, did I talk about this in my last video? I think I did. Crumb Top and Cocoa Lime. I saw somebody talk about this on YouTube and I was like, that sounds really interesting. And we had a very warm day here a couple weeks ago. And I was like, I'm gonna try this combo because I have both of these bars. Crumb Top is like this sweet, buttery, like, like a crumb top. Like there's no apple, there's no, filling it's just like the top of an apple crumble like that cinnamon sugar um, flaky pastry note and then cocoa lime is coconut and lime people said doing this together was like a key lime pie yes it was delicious definitely recommend if you have crumb top and cocoa lime or for that matter anything really fruity it makes it like this beautiful rich bakery pie fragrance so highly recommend i love crumb top I'm glad Crumb Top is in my club. Next, we have Vanilla Cinnamon Maple. I actually just changed out the warmers in here. This was going for a few days. This is great. I've never really had it before. I don't remember. The maple syrup note does come out on warm. But personally, with the vanilla and the cinnamon, I think it comes across more as like a maple glaze than like a maple syrup, which I appreciate because I'm not a huge fan of maple syrup, but like the maple glaze on a donut. I don't like to eat maple glaze donuts. I, it's the one donut that I just can't get behind, but it smelled like the glaze on a maple glaze donut. So I really enjoyed it. It was warm. It was comforting. It was nice. It was chilly outside. So I had the windows open and was melting that and was very impressed. One of the new releases, Dutch apple bread. Um, it was okay. It smelled like a cinnamon apple and that was it. No real bread note, no real crusty bakery note. I did it in my bedroom and it didn't last that long, which made me sad because I typically have great luck in my bedroom. I think I have another bar of this. I'm not sure. If I do, I will hold on to, hold on to it and melt it. If I don't, no loss. It wasn't my favorite this though in my bedroom i have fallen in love with fall into love oh my gosh i actually pulled the notes up for this fresh orange peel and cool eucalyptus embrace sweet balsam okay i was not expecting 
to love this like I did. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This, I don't like balsam fragrances. Orange fragrances are always not my favorite and eucalyptus, I can give or take. Combined, I think it's on day five in my bedroom. No joke. It just keeps going. I did the whole bar. I did three cubes in one warmer, three cubes in the other, and then two in one. Five days, at least. I'm probably going to change it tonight so I can start Monday fresh, but this was so good. If you like fresh, if you like crisp, if you feel like you want to bring the outdoors in and add a little sweetness and a little hominess, this is going in my club. It's in laundry. It's in Scentsy Fresh. I feel like I need to pick up laundry in it just to try it because it is so fresh and clean. Very impressed with Fall Into Love. I'm doing in my bathroom now, Perfect Pumpkin Pear. Mm, this surprisingly has like a fresh fruitiness to it because of the pear, but it does lean a little baby food. It is not my favorite. I will not repurchase it. I just have a few bars that I'm trying to get through. And then last but not least, I didn't get through a ton this week, guys, but I did Hemingway and Painted Leaves, one cube to one cube in the same warmer throughout my open space. And I'll be honest, I don't know if one canceled out the other. I couldn't smell them. So I had no air condition on, no heat. The windows were cracked open, but typically that enhances the fragrance. I got nothing. So I'm just going to pop these in my basket, recycle them, try them individually on their own and see if that works. Certain fragrances, if I combine them, I end up not having the best of luck. And Painted Leaves is strong and Hemingway is strong. So I'm not really sure why I did not get the performance that I would want in these, but... It is what it is, and we'll move on to try it again. But under 20 minutes, I'm so happy. I love that I got through all of that in under 20 minutes, trying to make a little shorter videos so I don't ramble. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you stay alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.